Good morning, LinkedIn friends, and happy Saturday morning to you. Hope everyone is having a great morning this morning, and of course, just ready to get it done. So this morning on my morning walk, I wanted to come on here and talk about a little uh, sales. You know, and, and what I feel, I guess, one of the most important things to do in any type of uh, sales is, of course, to ask questions. You know, and the one question that doesn't get asked early enough, of course, in the sales process is just the simple question of why. Why are you looking for with what you're telling me you want? You know, so many times client comes in, says, I'm looking for this, this, and this. Salesman then in turn right away either grabs a sales sheet or you know, says, okay, well, let's just go walk out on the lot. Let's go find that, you know, that diamond in the rough they're looking for. Where if the simple question is asked why, many times, obviously, that's not only going to um, give you more options as far as to maybe with what you can show your customer, but then also just make sure that obviously the product or the, the uh, vehicle that they're looking for is truly the right vehicle. Because again, you're the professional, that is your job. You know, it's no different than obviously going into a doctor's office and one of the first questions obviously a doctor asks you is, why are you here? Well, obviously the doctor's, because he's a professional, is just trying to find out so he can make a proper diagnosis for you. You know, it's like here, you know, a few weeks back when we were uh, out at our big sale, you know, I. Uh, is busy so I went out and talked to some customers and you know they said well we're looking for a seven thousand dollar car you know I sort of knew the answer you know when I asked him in the first place well why are you looking for a seven thousand dollar car because just like anybody it's a budget thing well then also I asked him I was like well what are you finding when looking at seven thousand dollar cars meaning how many miles are you finding on those vehicles well, the customer said, well, typically most of them have, you know, 90 to 100,000 miles. Well, and of course, I was talking to him and asking him the questions, well, you know, how many miles do you drive within a year? Um, you know, just again, finding out all the information. Well, of course, the customer's like, well, you know, I typically drive 15,000 miles a year. So I got thinking to myself, I'm like, well, let me ask you this. Would you be open to spending $3,000 more to get something with 60,000 less miles. Basically four years of driving and spending an extra three grand. And she's like, well, yeah, absolutely I would. Well, long and the short of it, you know, obviously they ended up going with that car that I showed them. Um, you know, again, it had 60,000 less miles. Yes, they spent a little bit more, but it was one of those things that kept them from obviously looking at doing the, the, the process of buying another car for four years, you know, because again, she drove 15,000 miles a year, 60,000 miles, that's four years, which again, really makes sense. So anyways, again, I just really wanted to come on here and for all those that are in sales, just to make sure that you're asking questions. You're not being nosy, you're just doing your job. So with that, again, I wish everybody a great Saturday, a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon.